Hi, my name is Ian Grant, and I'm the Honor Guard Commander for this academic year. Now, the Honor Guard and its intent is that it's an organization devoted to the display and upkeeping of our nation's colors. And our primary purpose is to ensure that the national flag and state flag are raised and lowered every single day. It's a daily duty. Now, we actually escort the national flag on ceremonial occasions at official state functions and on and off campus events as well. Now, the why of our organization is that, of course, countless men and women have sacrificed their lives for us to continue our nation's legacy. And the expectation of each member is that you must stay true to the creed. Integrity, respect, tradition, and professionalism are the key towards being an effective member of the Honor Guard. Now, the benefits while being in this organization is that, of course, you can be an effective contributor to local communities. And it's actually very helpful for resumes and applications. You can also improve your leadership skills to succeed in your future careers as well, as well as standing out amongst your peers on campus. Now, how to join? Of course, there will be an Honor Guard cycle in the, beginning of, in the beginning of October. Now, the duration of the cycle will be two weeks, and tryouts will be evaluated up until they meet requirements for graduation from the cycle. Now, there will be flyers on all the bulletin boards in each company with additional information. Thank you for your time. Hey, how are y'all? My name is Cadet Rich and I'm a part of OCF here on campus at Marion Military Institute. OCF stands for Officers Christian Fellowship, and our sponsor here on campus is Colonel Bowen. And he's done such a great job in finding a way for cadets to be able to gather here and have community with one another. Because we know with the climate that we're seeing all over the country, all over our society right now, we have all been plagued with solitude. So right now, we have the ability to gather together and find community, biblical community, with one another and be able to study the Word again. So I'd love to see you there on Mondays from 1900 to 2000, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. See you there. Hello, my name is Derrica Gardner. I'm the president of My Leaders Club. We are a community service club that does community around Marion and surrounding areas. We offer a lot of leadership opportunities within our club. So if you're interested, we have a meeting next Wednesday. So let me know if you're interested. Thank you. students the opportunity to earn their private pilot's license. The point of contact for this club is Colonel Hansen. The club includes ground school, online instruction, and hands-on instruction at Vaden Airfield. If you have any questions about this club, please reach out to Mary Mill Institute via their website or, to, or call. Thank you for your time. Howdy. I'm Grace Reland and I'm the cadet range safety and captain of the competition shooting team. Due to COVID-19, we will not be hold, holding a cycle this semester for the team but we will still be operating in the range, so I will be training people who are interested. Hopefully in the future, preferably next semester, we will be able to get a cycle started and grow the team a little bit more. We shoot Steel Challenge, USPSA, and IDPA. For the rest of the cadets, or all cadets on campus, the range is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1.30 to 4.30. We shoot 22 9mm and 40 cal pistols, as well as 22 rifles. The prices for the ammo is not known, but we will put that out as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joey Mokta, and I'm one of the C2 leaders for the MMI Scuba Tigers Dive Team. Our team is for those looking in to become certified in scuba and those that are already certified divers. Certification is spread out over two weekends, which is four full days of on-site in-classroom learning and pool work. We work with Southern Skin Divers Supply, the oldest dive school in the United States which will help you achieve your SEI open water certification. We also offer nitrox certification, which is an enriched oxygen mixture above the 21% normal level, which is better for breathing, making it for a safer and longer dive time. We will also offer spearfishing classes for cadets wanting an environmentally friendly way of fishing, helping to reduce invasive lionfish populations in the Gulf and those interested in this conservation friendly sport. 
cost of certification, your equipment, and your first open water checkout dive is roughly $3,000, which is a discounted price, making there no better time to get scuba certified than with our team here. Scuba Tigers won't be active this fall semester, but will resume in the springtime, allowing you for, to save your money over Christmas. In the spring, we have planned four to five optional dives. Dives are roughly $300 to $475, which include the diving fee, lodging, and transportation. The trips we offer are out of Alabama and Florida and include freshwater spring dives, river drift dives, manatee dives, wreck dives, environmental cleanup dives, and my favorite, spearfishing out of Panama City, Florida. If you have any questions, please contact our sponsors, Mr. and Mrs. Logan, at MMI Scuba Tigers at marymilitary.edu. Hope to dive with you this spring. Hello, everyone. My name is Chandler Postway. I'm the president of the MMI Fishing Club. The club sponsor is Sergeant Major Jones. So the purpose of this club is really just to have fun and fish. You don't need any prior experience fishing or any prior knowledge. That's what the club's for, just come out, learn, have fun, and fish. Again, my name is Chandler Postlight. If you have any questions, you can find me in Delta or Sergeant Major Jones, and you can find him in the left side of the chapel. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alexis Gullet, and as a white knight at Mary Military Institute, I'm referred to as White Knight XO Gullet. White Knights is a precision drill team. We are very precise with our movements while spinning our rifles as we perform for many different crowds or audiences. If you're interested in White Knights precision drill team, our cycle will be October 2nd to October 22nd, 2020. One goal that we set as White Knights are to continue to build brotherhood, fidelity, and perfection. Being a White Knight, we have a bond between us that can never break. I look forward to seeing you all come out for cycle. Thank you. Hello, my name is Joseph Odom, and I'm the representative for the Fire and EMT program here on campus. Uh, we work with the Alabama Fire College to get cadets their volunteer firefighter certification. Um, the program just purchased a new facility and new equipment for training. Your second year here, we provide an EMT program. And overall, it's just a great opportunity if you're interested in becoming a first responder of any type. But thank you for your time. Hey, my name is Blaine Johnston. I'm the Swamp Fox Commander at MMI. Swamp Fox is a small unit's tactics and special operations prep team that tests you both mentally and physically. There will be a info brief before the planned assessment and selection in October. If you think you have what it takes, I'll see you then.
getting into the Swamp Foxes is one of the hardest things you're ever going to have to endure here. This, I'm just proud to be a part of this brotherhood. It's something that I'm going to enjoy, something that I'm never going to be able to forget. One of the biggest and most proud moments of my life. Hi, I'm Cadet Ingram. I'm the cadet sponsor here for FCA. FCA stands for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. We gather here in the chapel Wednesdays from 1900 to 2000, and we just Bible study and we talk about the everlasting love of God. Our sponsor here at Mary Military Institute for FCA is Lieutenant Colonel Martin. And basically, FCA, a lot of people assume that it stands for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, but you actually do not have to be an athlete to attend FCA. We really just accept anybody who's willing to get into the Word and study the love of God. I'm Dr. Sherling. I'm the sponsor for the Gaelic Club and the Ireland Study Abroad Trip. We, uh, the Gaelic Club meets once a week and we learn the basics of Irish uh, and Gaelic culture and the language that they speak in remote areas of Ireland and Scotland. We spend the year doing fundraisers to pay for a five-week tr five week trip to rural Ireland every every summer uh, we weren't able to do it this past year uh, but we hope to plan hope to go this year and hope you'll join us hey guys uh, my name is miss Sherling. i am the sponsor for the mud tigers which is also known as the ocr club uh, that stands for obstacle course racing club um, obstacle course racing is an international sport um, that's really all around the entire world um, if you're familiar with Spartan races or Tough Mudders, um, and honestly a lot of the training that you would do in the military, those are the things that are incorporated into obstacle course racing. Uh, we decided to make a club in the fall of 2017 where we go out on a weekly basis and we do specific training for uh, being prepared for an obstacle course race. Um, we travel to different locations around the southeast um, and run uh, all kinds of different races and some of them are the best in the world. Um, Bone Frog Challenge we've gone to in Talladega. That's actually uh, created by Navy SEALs. It's a really difficult course. Uh, the Savage Race in Atlanta, Georgia, we've attended that several times. Um, and it has some of the best overall uh, overhead obstacles that you could possibly see. Um, and this is all depending on the course schedule. Um, the club itself is basically uh, set up as a, a way to have fun uh, while you're training. Um, a lot of different people come and try out for the obstacle course racing team. So really all walks of life are welcome as long as you're you know, willing to come and participate. Um, we wanna promote health and fitness and fun. Um, and, and really, if you're gonna be doing PT, uh, doing a certain kind of training on the obstacle course is one of the best ways. So uh, one of our biggest fundraisers is the Marion May Challenge, which you can see our gear. Um, so every year we help host the Marion May Challenge um, and the actual members of the OCR team um, help me and Colonel Martin and Colonel Passmore design the course, set it up, um, and what we do with the funds from that program is actually we are able to go on these uh, uh, trips to all these different locations. Um, the most recent one we went to was in Atlanta, Georgia, and we went to a Tough Mudder there. Um, and so we'll set you guys up in an uh, Airbnb or a hotel, and then you get to race the next morning. So it's a very fun group. Um, you do have to follow the guidelines and participate. Um, we've got a few returning members this year. A lot of ours graduated. So if you're interested in getting involved with a really fun way of doing physical fitness um, or learning more skills like how to climb a rope, you know, all the different ways to tackle monkey bars, um, uh, the different overhead rigs that we have around campus, um, we, we're the club for you. So come and check it out.